Hey, what's going on everybody? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a Python program that takes text and converts it to speech using the GTTS library. I think that stands for Google Text to Speech. Alrighty, so just to get started, you can see it's a super short program. If you didn't have all the line spacing and the comments, it would probably only be like 10 lines of code. Also, I've got some extra stuff in here just to make it a little more user friendly, but I'll explain each line as we get into it. So the first thing you want to do is create a main.py file and then an input.txt file in, in a project folder. And so the input.txt file is going to be the text that you want to convert to the speech. And when I say speech, I just mean like an AI generated speech. Like if you were to do Google Translate and then you were to press the little audio icon, that's the type of voiceover that you're going to get. So here I have some text for a script from a small video I made uh, for a different channel that I'm messing around with some Pokemon stuff. And we're going to use that. So over here in main.py, line one, import OS. We're just going to use that at the very end of the program. I'll explain why, but you don't have to include that if you don't want to. The second line you have to include this is from lowercase gtts import g capital T capital T capital S. So that gives us access to this Google text-to-speech library. All right, the first thing we want to do is point uh, to this file with the text inside of it. So you can say file name, which is a variable, is equal to, and then a string, whatever the name of the file is, .txt. In this case, I called it input.txt. So file name is equal to input.txt. Another variable called file is equal to a method called open. And when we invoke that method, the first argument is the file name. You could just pass a string in if you want to, but I like to assign it to a variable first. Then the second argument is the string here with the letter R. That just means read only. So we're going to read this file. Basically, it's going to give us this object that we can iterate over. And then you'll see here in a second how we're going to take each line and put it into a one big long string. So in order for us to do that, we need to create a variable called text and assign it to an empty string. And then we'll iterate over each of the lines in the file. So we'll say for line in file, take that text uh, variable, the string, and do a plus equals. So we're just concatenating every single line to this text. And so when this loop is done, what we end up with is a variable called text assigned to just one big long string of all the text inside the file from input.txt. All right, so we're done with the file. We can do a file.close, invoke that. The file has been closed. Next thing we want to do is convert the text from that text variable to speech. So this is where this GTTS library comes into play. So we'll say TTS, text to speech, is equal to, and then we take that G, capital T, capital T, capital S variable that we imported earlier at the top. That's a method. We're going to go ahead and pass in the text variable, which is the string of text. So now that we have this TTS object, we're going to go ahead and save it as this speech one.mp3. Uh, I have one because I was doing multiple iterations. You can call this anything you want. Just make sure you have the extension of mp3 at the end. If you don't have any type of relative path or anything like that, it's just going to put the file inside the project folder where you currently are. So wherever main.py lives is where the mp3 file is going to be outputted to. So tts.save, name it as a use a string to name whatever you want the file to be. And then lastly, what I did is I used OS. Remember at the top there, we imported OS to use the os.system command or method to take that newly created file and play it. And so if you save this file and you run it, so from the project directory, you simply run python main.py. Before you do this, if you don't have gtts installed, you're going to have to do pip install gtts. All right, so with gtts installed, we run main, python main.py. It'll take a second, depending on how long the file is. And then when it's done running, the last thing it'll do is it'll actually open up the file in whatever your default audio program Ash is. Ketchum, the iconic main character of the Pokemon anime series has a secret. Watch this video to the end to learn this little known fact about Ash. Okay, so you can see how we took the text from input.txt and we converted it into an AI generated uh, like voiceover type thing, converted it to speech essentially. So you can pay for services that allow you to do this sort of thing. They will offer you a lot more voice options, but if you just want something quick and easy and free to mess around with, then this library is really cool. There's also additional options for the GTTS method. You can add a second argument or a third argument to change the language. So you can get like a different accent from a different part of the world. Some pretty cool settings in there. So definitely check out the documentation for GTTS. 
Uh, I will link that in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.